Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In our previous videos, we have seen certain animated videos and experiments and scenes. So in our previous video, we are going to create a new animation using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Today, we are going to create an Indian flag animation with the help of JavaScript on the occasion of Indian independence. So let's start it out. Here, I'm going to add one more file to this. That is the JS file and the name of the JS file, I'll just give it as script.js. As usual, we are going to add the HTML snippet. As soon as we are going to add the HTML snippet, make sure we are going to link it with our styles.css. And since now we have also added the script, you can also link the script here in your head section or in your body section. I'll be linking here in the body section for today. Script source, script.js. Here in our today's video, we are going to use the animation on Indian flight. And here I'm gonna use ID. Inside this ID, I'll be giving as flag. In the styles.cs, I'm just gonna give body, padding, should be zero and the margin will be zero. After that, we are going to do in the script for JS. First, I'm going to use a variable C is equals to document dot a method in a method in JavaScript which is called as a get element by ID. So here I have written ID in my HTML. So in the same way, I'm going to write the id itself for my script.js so i'll be adding the id here now this is going to link my html sheet and my javascript sheet whatever i'm going to write in my javascript sheet everything will be reflected in this canvas element or inside this canvas next i'm going to use var dollar is equals to c dot get context in 2d format so whatever I am going to write here, everything should be reflected in 2D format. Next, I'm going to take variable w. This is going to tell us c dot width. That is what should be the width of this flag. So the width of this flag will be equal to the window inner width. The complete width of the window will be taken. In the same way, I'm going to take for the height as well. c dot height is equals to window dot inner height. That's all. We have to add an event listener where it is going to understand that it has to do some uh, functions in order to give us the flag. So what I'm going to do, var t, var t is equals to zero, window dot add event listener resize, comma, function c dot width is equals to w is equals to window dot inner width. Next again c dot height is equals to h is equals to window dot inner height. That's it. And dollar dot fill style is equals to hsla. You can also use rgba. This is just the color or else you can directly give the color name as well. Comma, false, done. Next var run is equals to another function I'm going to use. Window dot request animation frame. So I'll be using certain animation here. So the name of that animation will be added in. So animation frame, let's keep it here itself. Later we can add it. T plus one. T plus is equals to one. And here I'm going to use the name of that animation. So it does the name of the animation is this itself. The next what we have to do is we have to use the filling color here for the background and then you have to use the saffron color, green color, and the white color. So to add the saffron color, green color, and white color, I'll be using a variable flag flow. 
is equals to function a comma b comma t dollar dot line width will be equal to 0 0.5 dollar dot fill style will be equal to black dollar dot fill rectangle 0 comma 0 comma w comma sorry w comma and this I'm going to in my run flag flow the same function 33 comma 52 star math dot sin now let us style for the orange color for where i is equals to minus 60 i is less than 60 
today's video. For more such videos on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Meet you again in the next video with more such animations on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Till then, stay tuned and keep learning. Bye bye.